A quarter of millennials, that's folk born between 1981 and 1996, live at home with their parents. So hopefully should be able to seek out some solidarity and maybe even some solutions to cope with it. Which leads me to my next contributor, Alistair. Someone whose reasons for staying at home, I was told, went deeper still. My name's Alistair. I'm 31 years old, trying to get into acting. Um, I won't show you the bathrooms or anything like that. You've seen the toilets, so. The toilet, yeah, this is my room. Like I said, I'm a bit of a Doctor Who kind of fanatic, so everything Sorry. in this room is kind of almost related to Doctor Who. Why do you live at home? Uh, the reason I live at home is quite a kind of big one. Um, I'm talking maybe four and a half years ago, uh, I got diagnosed with kidney failure. Naturally, like I just kind of broke down, as you would when you find out some devastating news like that. I, I was working full time as well. I actually lost my job whilst I was going through treatment, so I got made redundant, which was just a complete nightmare, <laughs> to be honest. So quite earlier on, the doctors had said, you know, if anyone wants to come forward to donate a kidney, that uh, just to sort of send a letter in sort of thing. My dad was the one that sort of was a match, like a sort of perfect match and wanted to go ahead and do that. He was putting his life on the line, like, you know, because he didn't have to go through with that. No one, no one has to go through with that, but he wanted to. It's kind of like brought us closer. After the operation and stuff, like you can't, you don't just walk off into the sunset. It took a strain mentally. I kind of felt as if I'd like lost a year and a half of my life. When you have this operation and it makes you better and then you're just kind of left to sort of deal with the aftermath of everything, sort of mentally. So all those thoughts about like, oh, I almost died, that I'd buried down, like started to sort of come back up, which then didn't help when you're thinking, I don't have a job now. Um, my relationship isn't really working anymore. Luckily, I've got like really supportive parents uh, who were like, yeah, we just wanted to kind of see you happy. So because of that, I'm, that's why I'm, I'm kind of I'm still here. You hear some guy who's still staying at home at 31, like the first thing you're going to be like, why? You know, what's wrong with you? And I think that's just the kind of attitude of society, really. But because of what I've been through, I'm just happy to kind of be here because I came quite close to not being here. So, although people might look at me and think, oh, like, move out already. They don't know my story. They don't know anyone's story until they sit down and talk to them. Because like I say, everyone's situation is different.